Chapter 27 Korahor A man named Korahor came to Zarahemla. He did not believe in Jesus Christ and preached that what the prophets had said about the Savior was not true. Korahor told the people they were foolish to believe that Jesus would come to the earth and suffer for their sins. He said people could not be punished for their sins because there was no life after death. Many people believed Korahor. They became wicked. Korahor tried preaching to the people of Ammon, but they would not listen. They tied him up and took him to Ammon, who forced him out of the city. Korahor went to the land of Gideon, but the people there would not listen to him either. The chief judge sent him to Alma. Alma asked Korahor if he believed in God. Korahor said he did not. Alma testified that there is a God and that Christ would come. Korahor wanted Alma to perform a miracle to prove there is a God. Korahor said he would believe in God if he saw a sign of God's power. Alma told Korahor he had already seen many signs of God's power through the scriptures and the testimonies of all the prophets. Alma said the earth and everything on it and the movement of the planets in the sky are also signs that there is a God. Korahor still refused to believe. Alma was sad because of Korahor's wickedness and warned him that his soul might be destroyed. Korahor still wanted the sign to prove there is a God. Alma said the sign from God would be that Korahor would not be able to speak. After Alma said this, Korahor could not speak. Korahor wrote that he knew this sign was from God that he had always known there is a God. He asked Alma to pray and remove the curse. Alma knew that if Korahor could speak, he would lie again to the people. Alma said the Lord would decide if Korahor would speak again. The Lord did not give Korahor back his speech. Korahor went from house to house, begging for food. The chief judge sent a letter throughout the land telling what had happened to Korahor. He told those who had believed Korahor to repent. The people repented. Korahor went to live with the Zoramites. One day while he was begging, he was trampled to death.